What's good? What's good? Welcome to Epic Entertainment Critics. I'm Antoine. And I'm still James. All right, so we're going to do a, we're going to have an epic discussion, man, on the Batman. The Batman is coming out in March, so, um, you know, they're going to release some promotional material, right. some more clips, um, a couple more images. So they released a, a few images, man. Um, and I also found out they, um, people have been mad because uh, they found out it's PG-13. And I'm looking like, what What y'all thought? Y'all thought <laughs> Warner Brothers actually yeah. going to make a Batman movie rated R? I, would, I and, wouldn't and, have even. And miss out on that money? There's no way yeah. in the world they would do that. Because like, <laughs> I, I feel like we've gotten to the point where it's like, listen, the chances, especially of a flagship character getting an R-rated movie, yeah. slim to none. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Bet mean. Bet on none. That People like, movies like Deadpool, that was experimental. Yeah. You know, and the budget was like what fifty thousand, fifty thousand, like fifty million. Yeah. So it was like, okay, we give you fifty million, we make it ready to like the Joker. That was um, a low budget too. Yeah. You know, those are experimental, but Batman's like, already big, established. Big money. There's no way in the world they're gonna make it. They ain't taking no risk on big money. Yeah. So they got some new images, man. So um, they got stuff like the Batcave, and and what you think? How you think how they look? I actually like it. I like it more than I like most bat caves in the movies. Now, I'm gonna tell you something though. Yeah, this is not actually the bat cave. This is a train station. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some some y'all don't know about me is I love like hideouts and like you know mm. train stations stuff like that. I think like one of my favorite abandoned uh, places. There, yeah, you make well, it like, your clubhouse like uh <laughs> one of the auxiliary bat caves in the comics uh the uh, belfry which is where like oracle is set up it's a giant clock tower yeah and it just like turns into like a makeshift bat cave like at the push of a button right uh, i've I seen I that like on stuff. game yeah and i like stuff <laughs> like that that stuff is cool man so i'm guessing he hasn't built the bat cave yet so this is like some of the wayne Enterprise is probably owned. Yeah. And he was like just set up shop here. Well, like also. So this is early in his career. Also, if you think about it, like since it's not under Wayne Matter, it's in Gotham. Right. right? So it's like probably easier to get to. And That's get true. Where he's in the city. Yeah. Where ain't, I think Wayne Manor is like on the outskirts or yeah. away from the city or whatever. Yeah. So, you know, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it makes sense, man. It's uh, It, it looks cool. It, it's. Temporary, a temporary yeah. base. Yeah. Um, so that's the, you got the car right there. Yeah. You know. Um, so yeah, it, you know, I don't have any complaints yet. It's still early in his career. Yeah. Uh, but the '89 movie, which I think we're gonna go back and review all those. I'm for it. I'm for it. We're gonna review all those. So uh, before I go any further, though, uh, if anybody watching and like our content, please subscribe to the channel. I, I'm trying to remember. Yeah. Because it seems like people like the content, but they right. forget to subscribe. <laughs> and we ain't getting no thousand yet, so we trying to get to the thousand. So Absolutely, help us get to that yeah. thousand, and uh, please subscribe to the subscribe channel. and share. Yeah, please. So okay, that was the that's the bad cave. Let's see, they got some other stuff they're gonna show. Um, also, what's the name? Um, uh, I think Selena Kyle. Okay, yeah. So I think this this picture was in the trailer, I believe. Mm -hmm. Him, uh, Selene Kyle, and uh, Batman. Uh, what you think? I mean, sh I do like. You know what? It's funny. Uh, you mentioned to me on one of our last videos that like they were like they they were going out of their way to like desexualize Catwoman. Uh huh. They failed. <laughs> um, like, well, she just kind of a sexy person, but. I think, um, <clears throat> oh, so I was hearing that, I told you this earlier, but I was hearing that um, they're going to have them childhood friends. Yeah, yeah. And you was kind of opposed to that at first. Uh, I'm, it makes it makes a lot of sense to do that. When I um, think about it, because. It's like, when you just say the words, yeah, so we, we're going to make Catwoman and Batman childhood friends. What? But, yeah. like, in in the midst of the story they're telling here. Right. It makes more sense for the, than for them to just meet up in costume. Right. And 
And he basically is like, look, stop this. You know, yeah. as a friend, I'm telling you, this ain't going to end well for right. you or whatever, you know. Opposed to just a villain where he just like, oh, man, she bad, you know. Uh, I can't even <laughs> do my job when I get around her, you know what I'm saying? That's why I was kind of yeah. like, I'm not feeling yeah. that, you know. Well, like, especially <laughs> with the tone of this film, right? Right. Where it's like, if we were talking like Joel Schumacher, I could have given that oh, one. Geez. Yeah, but. Yeah. There's uh, just something about her, Alfred. <laughs> right? <laughs> Uh, I can't think. I get a, I get flustered. <laughs> but no, um, that suit gets tight. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, uh, it's a, uh, it's interesting. Uh, <laughs> it, <laughs> it's some, yeah, yeah, that's some interesting stuff they showing, and yeah. uh, I can't wait to, I can't wait to it drop because I'm telling you like this, this is DC. They better hit a home run. They need one. <laughs> they need one. They can't like, get no base hit. They need a home yeah. run. The Suicide Squad did well. <laughs> yeah, I heard financially they didn't do so good. It, it, like it was okay financially. You know? uh, um, it, critically, it, it it was a success, a success, yeah. but financially not so much. So like they really need a win right now. But you know what? I ain't gonna say. It's just they just kind of. In the background, it's a, like a mess because every time they decide to do something, they yeah. can't never. They can't. Where's the? Is that the symbol? I'm gonna be on. Nah, he wouldn't. Nah, like, make that. That's just a promotional yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah I'll see that. I was like, well, like some 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 branding, some graffiti, maybe. Uh, uh, it's like well, it was just saying like he put he put that on his uh, <laughs> on his car. It's uh, like, really, dude? That's a little like, on the nose. Like, <laughs> if I had the Batmobile, I'd do some <laughs> stuff like that, you know, but then I'm not Batman, so. Yeah. That's another look, at, I guess, at the, at the Batcave. Cave. So, yeah, it is a train station, um, and he just, you know, pulled the corner or whatever. I think that's kind of cool, though, because, yeah. right, you, it makes sense. The Batcave ain't easy to get yeah. back and from, too. Yeah, you know, like, also... If you like, you leave the city limits and you driving up the highway to Wayne Manor. Mm-hmm. Somebody gonna notice that. Yeah, so I think Batman got backup spots yeah. all over. Anyway, like I think they like they go out of their way in the comics a lot of times. Like, oh, he's got this auxiliary Batcave here, or he's got this in Wayne in yeah. Wayne Tower, and like yeah, like he got in, in the game, he got a, a backup Batcave in Arkham. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Like, so, yeah. he spent so much time there that he made yeah, set I up might shop. as well, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, like, it, and it's it's really cool because this is kind of like what we got a little taste of in. <laughs> they promote some stuff. Product placement? Yeah. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> um, oh, that, that completely oh, derailed me. Oh, man, that's, that's a good, good look at, at the, the car. car. That's probably the best shot we've had so far. Right, we ain't seen the the car up close like that, so yeah. th- they finally let us see how, what the car looked like. It looks good. I like it. Yeah, uh, yeah. What is it? Is it a charger? It's I, definitely a muscle car. I I think it is built off of a charger. Yeah, I mean that front. Well, I don't, you know what? I'm not an expert on that. So the back is not. But the front looks yeah. like a the the body the body work is like custom certainly but like man. the frame I think might have been a charger yeah it's probably uh got reinforced steel I see the, the windows blacked out yeah <laughs> uh the frame is definitely reinforced because you can I see can't wait to hear that mug growl you know it's be loud. <laughs> man especially with that IMAX sound yeah uh, everybody gonna leave the theater <laughs> yeah I wonder if the dog barking yeah. But, um, yeah, 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 it looks good. You were saying something. I, I'm sorry I cut uh, you off. I, I got you. derailed with the Oreo thing, <laughs> yeah. man. Like, that completely shut me down, so. Yeah. But um, let's see here. Workstation. <laughs> so this was oh. like some, there go them Oreos. Yeah. <laughs> oh, where uh, Batman likes to eat Oreos when he's not cr- fighting crime. Uh, Alfred, I need my Oreos. <laughs> where are my Oreos? <laughs> Right here, so. <laughs> <laughs> Took your ass long. Uh, <laughs> God so, damn. So this is not the official back cave, right. though, so it's like, cool. And especially, like, I like the, that sort of makeshift aesthetic, too. Yeah. Um, oh, what I, now I remember what I was going to say. Um, like, this early on in his career, it, it makes a lot more sense for his stuff not to be, like, bespoke, 
right? Where uh-huh. it's like he he sh- there shouldn't be like a theme, a th- any you know any kind of thematic aesthetic to like his his gear. It's right. just this is what works for this job. This right, is right, and job. and they always get bat branded his stuff. Yeah, where yeah. it's kind of silly. Yeah, to have a bat symbol on everything. Like the grappling hook has a <laughs> has a bat on it. And, <laughs> you know, so it's like that, that bike. What you think? It's a bike, <laughs> but I'm tripping off. Look. It's got like the, it's got the, <laughs> it's got the cow on there. Like we just <laughs> talked about not we did branded. Just talk about, that. and you got, the <laughs> and you got your cow uh, on there. Like I that's mean, kind of silly. I mean, oh god, I because like this is that thing. practical. I mean, not really. That's a great way to get stabbed if you get. Yeah, hit. No, um, I know. If, right, if <laughs> if you get the. You know, uh, uh, if he stops suddenly, just <laughs> like, oh, oh, oh. Okay. I didn't plan that out. <laughs> Alfred, I need you to remove the bat bike from my shoulder. Alfred, <laughs> <laughs> not again, sir. <laughs> uh, I'm not changing it. It's cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> got a, got a, like a little workout area there, mm-hmm. and that's the suit. Okay. That's a good look at the suit. And you know what? The the suit took a minute for me. I don't think it's bulletproof like that. It don't nah. look like it looked like maybe Kevlar. Well, but you ain't gonna just take Kevlar bullets or graphene, something like that. Right, but um, you can't take like machine gun fire and not be fake. Like it's by one it. thing to say because you know I, I know in the comics the bat is supposed to be like super reinforced, but like and that does look like a bulletproof vest to me. Right, you know, it, but. but well, but they not need to that make that bulletproof. right. They need to make it make sense. It, well, for him to like, be walking unless you tell me that that's tank armor. <laughs> yeah, but it looks like like it looks cloth. like a vest, right? Yeah. Like uh, like Kevlar or something. So yeah, yeah. They try to make him look cool, but it was almost like yeah. I, I got to believe that can happen though. Yeah, you know. Um, actually, funny enough, that bat suit looks a lot like uh, Red Hood's current suit now, in the comics. What's the name of can do that? Uh, Black Panther can do that because yeah. vibranium is right. can uh, wh- I forget what they say. It's um, super absorbent or something like it that. It absorbs kinetic energy. Right. So if you had vibranium, you could do that. You could do that. Yeah. But, but like. That doesn't exist in the DC universe. Even the the metals (laughs) that exist in the DC universe that does stuff like that, you'd have to go and explain that we got that. So if it's just like... So are they going to just come up with another... another Are we going to say it's promethium or nth metal or something like that? They better say something. Uh, I want to hear something. If he just... If he just walk into gunfire like that and they don't give no explanation how he did like, that, and, he, and he's not even getting knocked back. That's a, like I want to make it important. The thing, the problem isn't that the bullets didn't go through. It's the fact that he's acting like he's not getting shot. Yeah, he's just walking forward in the face of full right. automatic it did, gunfire. It's one. If the bullets don't kill you, okay, because the Kevlar are good. But to walk to to walk into gunfire and you are a man. Yeah, we we know Batman don't have powers. Right. Um. So. You gonna have to explain that. Yeah. I, I want some explanation, and don't just yeah. try to give me that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, d- like, have a little more respect for your audience. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> don't just say, "Oh, we've got next level body armor. You can take these." At- nah, nah. I'm, I'm gonna need no, you to go. You can ahead. take. You can take the shots and not die, but you the, the impact. Yeah. The impact is still gonna knock you off your feet. Yeah. So explain and that, be, and you're gonna be bruised the fuck <laughs> up All underneath right. it. So you don't die, but you live. I still don't like the cowl. You don't like the cowl? It, it's specifically the fact that the cowl and the collar right. on the cape. It's that. That's what really throws me off. Mm. It's 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 both. I prefer I I do prefer to see the the cape and the cowl be one piece. But I can understand why you wouldn't want to do that. For yeah, you can't, that's why you can't move your neck. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna be so. like George Clooney, like, or uh, your boy Michael Keaton. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, can't back up your car. <laughs> so, yeah, and he got to back that car out of there. How yeah, you going to do that? I, I did really like the segmented look <laughs> on uh, the... Um, That's punching the... Uh, yeah. One of them clowns, I guess. Yeah. The segmented look on the it's from the Christopher thing. Nolan the films, but that even that up. was, like, restrictive. So this so is look, probably the best way that they can do it. Those things on his wrist, I mean, on his forearms, what you think that's for? Uh... I'm assuming they shoot those. I'm assuming they're uh, darts, blow darts, uh, throwing darts, um, <laughs> uh, bow shuriken type stuff. Um, 
Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking, hoping that he doesn't have batarangs yet, and so he's using these instead. Oh, darts instead of batarangs? But yeah. do they at least shoot out? No, like, I think they're what what's called bow shuriken, so they're, like, throwing darts, like. Kind of mm. like, I think you see Green Arrow use uh, stuff like that in some media, but it's like you just grab and you just... Like. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but, That's uh, one of those... Ping, what's that? Bah! <laughs> it's like, come on, man. Uh, so. Make it effective. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't think he... Since he hasn't figured out his branding yet, he hasn't... You know what? If I cut this into shape of a bat... So, let's talk about the Riddler. Yeah. That's going to be... I, maybe the main villain. I yeah. think they might do a little red herring there. What do you think of the Riddler? His look and all that. I st- I'm still not for that look for the Riddler. Mm-hmm. It's just it's so far away from what I'm used to. Yeah. Um, I like the green suit. That's my jam. I like mm-hmm. it. Um, I'm glad we're not going. You mean the green suit? The question marks? You talking about that suit? No, <laughs> I'm talking about the green three piece with the bowler hat and the purple gloves. Oh, you'd like that. That's what I like. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, you know, with with the fucking purple mask. But on you know, yeah. he didn't always wear that. Sometimes he wore the tights. I, I know. And sometimes he wore the suit. I know. <laughs> I prefer the suit. I I've come to terms with the tights. <laughs> um, like I don't need another Jim Carrey. Uh, yeah. But um, I am interested in seeing where this goes because this is a a very serious take on the Riddler. So. Right. But I was like. Um, Seems like they losing what the character was, though. Yeah. You know, he's now because uh, he was flashy. He was a bit of a whiny asshole, right? Yeah. But the riddles, yeah. Now, I'm sure they. I guess they're gonna do the riddles, but that was always their weakness. Like Two Face, his well, obsession with duality. Like, like they all, they always had a weakness. They're they're all like intrinsically bound to their pathologies. Like Two Face, no, as smart as Two Face is, he'll never like. Choose a win over duality, right? You know, the Riddler will never choose a win over a riddle. Well, they Riddler, Riddler can't help but give riddles even yeah. when he ain't trying to. Like, <laughs> like he'll make the the thing that stops his bomb. A he riddle. always give you something. He always well, he don't give you the answer, but There's he always out. give you. There's always an out, right? He yeah. always give you um, a, a way to figure it out or whatever. Yeah. So, and that's his weakness or whatever. He just seemed, I don't know, he just looked like a crazy psychopath or something. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean. Like Jigsaw meets Leatherface. Yeah, yeah. So they said it's going to be scary or whatever. Um, so in that case, they could have used like Zaz or somebody. Zaz would have been great, especially <laughs> for the tone of this story. Zaz would have yeah, been great. trying to catch Zaz him. Zaz or uh, Professor Pig. <laughs> yeah. I'm I mean, trying. Professor Pig is ridiculous, but he, <laughs> he is a terrifying like entity. You know? Yeah. Hell, even uh, nah, don't use Brother Blood. <laughs> I ain't even heard of them. But mm. um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So those are new images. Um, yeah. um, from they no, nah, they didn't have that um pink one on there. But let's see if they might. Oh, they might have it again. Yeah, no, nope, they don't. But yeah, uh, <laughs> one of the one of those days, huh? We'll get to, we'll let you uh, do that uh, in private. <laughs> Minor physical difficulty. There. But no, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So looks good, man. Uh, I like before. I like everything I see. Um, and D, uh, I say Disney, DC do need a win. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you know what? Come think about it. All the movies are financially successful. Yeah. Though. So it's not like they took L's. It's just uh, on the uh, what's the word? Uh, um, critically, mm. uh, critically, they've been taking ills, yeah. but financially they haven't. Right. But they always, they always just change everything. They don't just stay the course. No, they always completely rework everything between projects. Yeah. And it'd be like, okay, you had a plan with this DC universe. Just stick to the plan. I know, man. It's like if people was complaining, but they were still going to see it. Yeah. They might came around if you would have just t- stuck to the plan. You just. Just blew everything Cause, up. Because, like, I, I always, like, I want to point out, like, folks clowned Iron Man 2. Mm-hmm. They didn't change how it, how they was making movies. Right. And not only that, 
it took a while for Marvel to hit their stride. Yeah. Because Iron Man and Hulk was good, but they stumbled, like you said, Iron Man 2, and um, Thor and uh, Captain America was just okay yeah. Yeah. movies. Yeah. They wasn't there yet. They yeah. didn't get there until 2012, yep. which four years in the game, yeah. you know? But they had their game plan and they stuck to it. Right. It's like, look, give us give give us a little leeway. We working on something here. They ain't all going to hit like you want them to, but we got something coming. Right, but see, Warner Brothers, that's not the company you want to be tied to. No. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's the if same you, thing. If you uh, want some creative control, if you want to actually make your product, mm-hmm. Warner Brothers ain't going to let that happen. I mean, it's mm-hmm. the same thing with uh, the the last trilogy on Star Wars, man. It's like you brought somebody in, they had a game plan, and then you said, all right, well, we're tossing this game plan out, we're doing something different. That's yeah. never going – when you're making a conjoined universe, you can't you can't play it like that. Yeah. You got to stay the course. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we just did a little discussion for Batman. And you know what? We, I decided – It looks we, good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it does. It does. I decided uh, we're going to we're gonna review the, the, uh, the Batman movies, <laughs> the 89 yes. all the way up, which we, we do got the Batman and Robin already on there. <laughs> we do, we do, but we gotta get. We'll do a little quick review yeah. on it, but uh, yeah. So, um, uh, be, stay tuned for that. And subscribe so you can get those alerts when we post those videos. Yes, sir. But uh, yeah. So yeah, that was just a little discussion on the new pictures on Batman, and we might have a little, um, little more discussion right before the movie come out. But yeah, uh, can't wait for it. Yeah, uh, March. So all right, we're gonna be out of here. Uh, like I said before, please subscribe to the channel, and um. Hit the bell icon so you get alerts every time we post new videos or if we live stream. And if you like what you've seen here today, please, please, please hit that thumbs up down below to drop us a like. And drop a comment down below, man. What you look, what you most looking forward to from this movie? And who's your favorite Batman villain? Yes. We got her, yeah. Peace. Peace.